the following video is for entertainment use only and should not be considered financial advice. Please do your own research. Hello guys, welcome to my July dividend portfolio update. Um, in July I tried to time the market, so I saw a trend in the previous months where in the middle of the month it took a bit of a dip. So I thought I'd try to invest in the middle of the month and um, well we didn't, so broke one of my own rules, paid the price I guess. So at the beginning of the month, it was around 8%-ish, yeah, 8%, 7.5%, 8%. Didn't, we sort of trade sideways, went up a little bit, chucked my money in halfway through the month, and then saw some good growth. So very happy with that. Uh, as the previous month, I'm still holding oil stocks, so I'm not invested in those, and, and, um, and tobacco. Cost of living is hitting me hard as well as everybody else, so I'm sure you're all suffering from it. Uh, so I might not make a 3k investment I want to make this year, but I'm going to push for it. See if I can work some extra hours or, or cut back, I don't know, find something, to find a way. Quick overview of the portfolio. So, um, I think it's doing okay, really. So my new ones are performing really well. Quite happy with some of the ones that weren't performing or recovering. So still got a way to go though, some of them. Windfall tax on oil giants or energy companies. So that's not good, but expected. Um, and I think the jumps out that I thought it did really well. Not so far. It's been a good month for dividends though. So we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Just going through these, so you can all see. So you can see, like, a lot of things I do is really small holdings, really small amounts. So this is, so you guys can see what small amounts can grow at. And if you want to pick any of these companies, then, you know, you'd like to see the returns. And I was going to try and grow it to 100 companies, but it's just it's become a bit of a chore. I'm quite busy at work and at home as well, I've been on holiday and stuff. So, yeah. Overall, very pleased with July's performance in terms of stock. Rio Tinto announced the dividend cut, but that got received badly, but I'm still got faith in it. Rolls Royce are just killing me. Regret making that decision at the minute, but still, I've got faith. I was expected to do better when people going on holiday. The service contracts cutting in, but... um. Hasn't have yet. Everything else is looking good. My old Tesla bandwagon. Made quite a bit of one of them before though, so can't argue with it. ETF's doing well. Especially with Vanguard ones. Looking good. Fornado Reality Trust. Begin to wish I never brought that. So let's quick one down. Top 10. Still, my oils are in there, like BP, Shell, Newcore, does really well. I think I got it at a cheap price, I guess. Archie's Annual's doing okay, yeah. And the SP 500 is doing okay. So, all in all, I'm really, really impressed with it. Okay, so here we are for July's dividends. First off the bat is AGNNC, monthly dividend and payer. Got 54 pence, it's really good. Automatic data processing, we've got 33 pence, another good one. Cardinal Health at 59 pence, again good, want to see it growing. Jabba, 35 pence, which is good. First of the big brands that we should know, Coca Cola at 17 pence. EK Labs at 16 pence, a little bit disappointing. Franklin Resources at 61 pence. Really good. Uh, next to the month for dividend payer, Gladstone Lands. Uh, very flat. It's four pence. It is a penny up on the last month, but as you can see, not really growing. So I'm a bit disappointed in that, really. Oh, I thought it might grow a bit more. GlaxoSmith Klein, very flat. 20 pence. Got 20 pence before as well, so that's very flat. Not very happy with that. But you no. Know, sometimes you can't have it all good. 
uh, next month, lovely monthly dividend pay, one of my new ones at uh, Horizon Finance. Uh, that's growing, which is really good. I expect to see, I expected to see Gladstone Land do the same. That's why I'm disappointed in Gladstone Land. But never mind. The Illinois Toolworks, 36 pence. Uh, you know, my, one of my ETFs, JP Morgan. Uh, 53 pence, but that is two months dividends in one, so it would have been around sort of 20 odd pence, 30 pence. So not too bad. Sainsbury's first dividend from then at 93 pence, which is really good. Kimberly Clark paying out again. Uh, 55 pence, good. So I see some real dividend growth now in my portfolio, which is good to see. Next up is uh, another monthly dividend. Able to see properties, 32 pence, another little grower there, which is good. Main Street Capital, another monthly one there at 15 pence. That's actually quite a big jump from the previous month, which is good. Uh, what's next? Metatronics at 33 pence dividend, but the share price has taken a beating, so you can't win. Win some, you lose some, I guess. Pepsi, 46 pence, doing all right. And then we've got some bonds here. 26 pence, doing okay. Uh, that one didn't pay out, so I'm expecting to get two months next month. And dun, 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 dun. Prospect Capital, another good one. So this and AGNC Finance lend money to companies that are not quite big enough to go in the stock market. And because of high interest rates, they're doing really well. So 50 pence, get yeah, doing really great. Well, income, the famous monthly dividend payer, 34 pence, it's doing good. I'm starting to see some growth, which is really good. I really start to see some ben these benefits now of dividends. Rope Technologies, it's a dividend grower, and it is growing slowly, but it should be okay. Got a good share return on that now, I think. Uh, seven trends, that's a new one. Uh, utilities, I'm sort of beginning of the year aside to go for utilities. And that's the first time that's paid out. So, jury's still out on that one. Uh, Sean Bean Communications. 19 pence, which is about right. Doing okay. Shell, paid out a month late, but just done £2, £1.94. So I thought I'd get more because of the massive profits they're making, but we haven't seen that come through as the shareholders yet. Uh, Stag Industries, steady, steady monthly payer going up. Still okay with that. Uh, Cisco's 39 pence, which is good. Excuse, excuse me. Um, the Renewable Infrastructure Group, uh, one of my new ones this year. Again, the utility sort of based company. Um, well, doubled from last time, which is good. Good to see that. So I must add, these aren't doubling in dividends. I do buy shares every month, as you know. And so I should see an increase in the dividend payout per payout, because I should own more shares. So that's good to see anyway. Uh, FTSE 100 paid me out at 41 pence, which is good. Massively up on the last month, last time it paid out. The Vanguard All World High Dividend, massive payout on there, really impressed with that. The Emerging Markets, again, massive payout in comparison to the previous payout. Doing okay for that one. S&P 500. Out of the ones I've just seen, this is the most disappointing. I thought that'd be better, but still, still an increase. Still, still liking it. <sighs> UK government guilt, it's a waste of money. And US corporate bonds, gain, waste of money. I'm sure I wish they'd bought them too. They're ETFs, but they're safe. But the share price drops. Dividends not great. Disappointed. VCI properties at 29 pence, which is good. That's not paying out yet. And the last one, last but not least, White Stones, the monthly dividend. That was quite new, I had that late last year. 
good to see that increasing. So overall for the month I got £13.75 which is really good. So going back I've averaged over £13 now for the last three months which is good and I'm still there thereabouts £10 a month on target so it's looking really good. So let's have a look at the um, big numbers. So I invested in July £250. So I would have made £3.65 interest in an ISA, leaving me with £3,380, let's call that. So I got £3,375, so three times more. It's really good. Uh, my investment value is 51.38, so what's that? I can't remember what I said now. Let's call it 4.4. So 6, 700 quid nearly. 6, 650. It's good. So my return on investment for dividend reinvestment this year is 3.3%, uh, which is not bad. If I chuck the dividends back in there, it drops down slightly. So this year I'm up 3%, it's not bad. Considering last month I think I was at a loss, about 2%, so that's good. Overall, I'm up 15%. Wow, that's quite a nice number actually. And my dividend yield this year, or return on investment, is 4.22%, which is really, really good. So obviously I've got £77 worth of dividend so far this year, giving me a total dividend yield on all the money I've invested, 2.88, which is still, and it wants to get on my target in 3% by the end of the year. So, and I need that really to go up more I need to be targeting higher I need to be targeting more like four percent now because um it's actually worth worth me keeping my cash in my offset account against my mortgage because interest rates have gone up so that tracks that so I think I'm getting about three and a half percent um offset against my mortgage which is more than what I'm getting here but again that's cost of living I've had £128 dividend so far since I've been doing this, which is good. Uh, yeah, I'm at about £10 a month, that's, that's for a 12 month period, so that's only half, we're over halfway now. Um, I've got made 60 quid. Mm. Uh, 60 quid this year, capital growth. So that's not, well, it's not amazing. But it's, it's better than nothing, I suppose. And my overall growth, so my 15% of that is £670, which is okay. So overall, fairly good month. I'm hoping August can be the same. <laughs> That'd be good. Let's have a quick look at the charts. I always like looking at my charts. So what are my charts say? My charts say... BP is just is now number one in dividend return, followed by Penning Group, followed by Viva because they had a sell-off, followed by Shell. So it's one, two, three, four, and then who's my next in the top five? It is going to be Prospect Capital. There you go. Because the next one is AG Investments. These are the two ones that are really doing really well this year. So if you take out the special dividends and that. I'd have BP, Shell, Prospect Capital, AG Investment, and British Tobacco. So that's looking really good. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. The graph's starting to take some shape now. Just got off that a little bit. Let me just go back down. Yes, the graph's starting to take shape. You can sort of see now uh, types of returns I'm getting, how long it's taking to get those returns. Some perform better than others. But it's not to get a shape. So I'm really happy with that. And then we're going to our monthly tracker. So 
fairly flat. A couple of pens in it from the last month, which is good to see. I'm hoping to see August around. All right, if I see a flat, I think I'll be happy. If I see an increase, I'll be even happier. But I want it to be above the £10 mark to maintain that dividend for average of £10 a month. Going to my next chart, this is the dividends. The blue is 21 and the orange is 22. So as you can see, ping, 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 looking great. Uh, this time last year, I've only just beaten that, but I think that's because of the penning group had a bit of a sell-off as well. I've got that back as a dividend. But still beat it. So August, oh, looking good. I'd like to see that come up. Finally, let's have a look at the predictor and my how's this model working out. Well, this predicts still going to be 14, 15 years from it with 50k. Boo! Need to make that needs to improve. Got to do some. Wish cost living won't kill me so much. That's how we're looking on the predicted dividends at 105 pounds. I'm already at 77, so that's good. Capital growth, well, that's not going to get to 600 and something pounds. We've had a bit of a bad month, and the fund value, they're going to be off. But my dividends are going to be, well, I think I'm going to smash that. I almost want to say I'm going to hit 130, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, guys, if you if you like this video, enjoying what you're seeing, and it's showing some interest, then please give a give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out and consider subscribing to my channel as well as always uh free share thing to get a free share there's my link it's in the description uh any free shares i get i'll sell at the end of the year and donate the money to a charity of the viewer's choice all right cheers for watching guys see you next time